Okay guys, we're going to be doing a memory upgrade and um, a hard drive swap, kind of transferring to an SSD on this HP laptop. So, uh, so far what I've done, just to kind of prep it, uh, I've removed the screws on the bottom. I'll show you that here in just a moment. Okay. So, uh, one thing to keep in mind on this particular um, laptop is you actually have screws three across the front of the computer and four across the back that are underneath this strip here, uh, kind of your feet, rubber feet for the bottom. So you've got it across the back and across the top. So you do have to remove those screws. The way I like to use it is I actually use, you can call it a, a, a you know, sometimes they call it a sponger, uh, splooger. Uh, but you can see it's kind of got a curved tip on that particular one. And so what I was able to do is just basically kind of use it to kind of bend back and pry. Once you get it started, you can kind of just lay it down across the bottom and remove that adhesive. The reason that's important, I've got them kind of laid face up there. So we're going to try and reuse that adhesive uh, as much as we can as well. So I did the same thing across here as well. Once that is done, you just want to remove all of these screws across here um, for you as well. And then uh, once that is done, um, we're going to flip it over. So we've got it flipped over uh, now on this one. And we're going to do two things, actually. So first thing I'm going to show you is that how this actually separates. And I've kind of started here. And what I like to use, tool of choice, and what I would recommend, it kind of looks like a little guitar pick, right? And you can use these for a lot of different devices, but it is plastic. So we are dealing with a plastic and plastic edge. And you're just going to run that in. So once you find a spot to enter it, as you go across, it'll actually detach. Kind of see that all the way across. And you're going to do that all the way across the edges. The other thing that's really important to do is one of the screws that's on the back, the one that's kind of in the center, is actually holding in your DVD drive, right? So we're going to remove that DVD drive just kind of by pulling it out. It'll slide right out. Um, we're going to double check, make sure there's no screws underneath there as well. So one thing I just wanted to kind of point out here is I've got the laptop turned over is once you start kind of getting it open um, with whatever tool you're using, like the guitar pick, and you're going along that edge, you know, feel it kind of keep popping. Um, take your time. That's the biggest thing that I could kind of tell you, is just take your time. Don't want to break any pieces, um, especially uh, above kind of where your DVD drive is. You can see I've slid that out again, that one screw holds it in. You can see how thin that plastic is. Um, just from experience, I can tell you, and you try to rush, those are the little pieces of plastic they are gonna break. Um, also kind of above your USB ports, um, you know, where you've got kind of that thinner piece of plastic there across the top, that's where it's gonna break. So take your time. Uh, on this particular laptop, coming across the back here, I definitely took a little bit of time there as well. Um, but if you kind of take your time, eventually you're gonna go through and you're gonna be able to get that cover off. So I'm just gonna lay that across here. Now I haven't unhooked the battery or anything yet at this point. I've just um, gone ahead and taken that cover off. I haven't touched any of the internal components uh, or anything like that. So you obviously just wanna make sure that you don't have any electrical electrical static discharge uh, that in, with, built up within you. So ground yourself off at this point. Um, I would always recommend unplug the battery, but I'm just gonna point at a couple things here. So right here, um, you're gonna actually, you can see this two and a half inch formatted hard drive. That's one thing that we're gonna be changing today. Obviously your battery, if you need to change your battery. Now this particular computer only had four gigs of RAM, so we're gonna do a quick upgrade on that as well. So you can see one chip here, but an empty bay uh, for a second chip. Um, to try and just give it a little bit, uh, a little bit more room, pretty inexpensive. Got an eight gigabyte chip for about 33 bucks uh, as well. Uh, so across the board, that's pretty much it. This is where your DVD drive would go. Your fan um, would be right across there as well, usually. And this is your wireless uh, LAN card um, that's in there. So if you had to change those components for whatever reason, you could. And then otherwise, you just got your connections um, to your board. So uh, keyboard and everything, uh, nothing pops out on this one. You don't have to pop your keyboard out or anything like that. So you can see your connections uh, onto your motherboard that uh, for your keyboard and your trackpad as well. So hopefully this helps. Um, and now we're going to change out this hard drive and boy, it was running really slow. Um, it does have a couple screws here that kind of lock it in. So we we'll popping those screws out, popping the hard drive and pop the new one in. So in general, guys, that is uh, as easy as it is. And 
and uh, change out that hard drive and add some RAM to your system to give it a little bit uh, extra power for not a whole lot of money. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be trying to put up some new videos as I'm working on some other uh, computers uh, for customers. So, you know, hey, like and subscribe. Uh, if you like the channel, I, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, as we try to get a following here as well. So I'll just share one more thing here that you have to do. I've got the new hard drive installed here. I uh, went with a crucial one terabyte. Uh, one thing you do want to change over, it's just these two little screws is all that you removed from the uh, off the other hard drive. So nothing actually was holding the hard drive in except for these little plastic pins here. Um, but this little chassis does screw in so that it does lock into this piece so the hard drive can't slide out. Otherwise, it just pops up, slides right out, and it's in there. And again, yeah, I'm just going to pop in that memory chip here in just a moment. And uh, we're going to flip this over and start loading, uh, loading the operating system back on.